Marcus Thompson, the athletic. Draymond, did that feel like you out there on, on both ends of the court? Yeah, I felt uh, more like myself, just aggressive on both sides of the ball. Um, I thought I felt a little more like myself in game four as well uh, after an atrocious game three. But, you know, just got to continue to build, you know, and I think tonight's a great start. Now looking forward to going into game six with the same energy and effort. Hey, Draymond, Cameron Buford, voice of the fans. Um, third quarter of this game, they kind of they won that third quarter. They came out and jumped on you guys. You got flipped that around in the fourth quarter. What happened in that fourth quarter that let you guys get that advantage back? Uh, I think we we just I think the way we responded in the third quarter uh, was huge. And Jordan hitting that shot right before uh, the clock expired was a great momentum boost for us. You know, when a team goes on a run like they did and it was more than a run. They pretty much dominated the entire third quarter. For us to still go into the fourth quarter with the lead, that's huge. And I think that was something that we could build on, and we did. And you know, coming out there in the fourth quarter, we were able to get stops, and we got out in transition, got a couple easy buckets. That was huge for us. Malika, uh, Malika Andrews, ESPN. Hey, Draymond. What's up, Malika? Um, Andrew Wiggins has been such a consistent presence for you all, all playoffs long, really. Can you just speak to at what point that trust began to build that he was the guy you would look for in those moments? Uh, I mean, that trust has been building for, for two and a half years now since he, since he got here. Um, you know, a, a lot of people looked at the trade like, oh, it's another piece that they can move. And we looked at the trade from the very beginning like that is a guy who can fit next to a healthy group absolutely well. Uh, I think you know, when he first came here, and I'll never forget, uh, it's when Tibbs wasn't with the Knicks. And Tibbs was like, you guys are going to love him. He competes. He defends. Uh, and, and, he, and he was telling us, Jimmy loved him. And, and we all know how Jimmy Butler is. Like, if you got any softness to you, Jimmy don't like you. That's just how Jimmy is cutting. And um, he's continued to show that. He's continued to get better. He's taken on every challenge that, that we've thrown in front of him, and it's huge. And we need him to do that for one more win. Mark. Mark Spears, ESPN's landscape. Um, Gary Payton, the second. You saw the injury. You saw the recovery. Just take me through what you saw from him. And uh, are you shocked that he's doing what he's doing now? I'm not shocked at all. I think, you know, G is someone who, who works. And, you know, he wouldn't be in this position if he didn't work the way that he does. And to see him bounce back from the injury, uh, like he did, it's, it's like he just picked off, picked up right where he left off at, uh, which is what he's done all year. He's defended, he's gotten putbacks, he, he comes up with loose balls, uh, he's knocked his, knocked his corner threes down, and you know he's been absolutely huge. You're talking a guy who made this te this team as the 15th man, and then became a key part of our rotation. So uh, it's no surprise uh, that he had the game that he had, and, and that you know he's had the impact on this series that you know we all hoped that he would get back because we knew that he could have that impact. Hi, Draymond. Janie McCauley from AP. Uh, following up on Malika's question just about Wiggins, when, when did you see this determined grit uh, and confidence on both ends just start to really reveal itself? I mean, that, that didn't happen right away. <coughs> well, no, that didn't happen right away. Um, I think he you know, started to fill it out and, and Coming into this year, he was an all-star starter for a reason. You know, he, he defended very well. Um, he scored the ball very well and, and really just plugged right in. Like, it wasn't like, oh, you need to call a set for him every time. He's just kind of been getting it. And, you know, he's continued to do that. And I think the bigger the challenge has been that we've thrown in front of him, the better he's responded. And, and that's a guy like that. Uh, that's a guy, you know, you want a guy like that, uh, that, you know, when the stays get big, they respond and they play their best basketball, and that's what he's been doing. Last question for Draymond. Sam on the right. Sam Amick, The Athletic. Dre, uh, you spent a lot of your career after wins talking about how amazing Steph is. Is it a different kind of satisfaction when it's a night like tonight? And every, especially after game four, you all talked about needing to help him. <laughs> No, nah, I don't think there's a different type of satisfaction. A win is a win, whether Steph gets 43, 10, and 4, or whether he finishes with 16 on 7 for 22 shooting. A win is a win. And, you know, obviously we have spoke about helping him, and I don't think he's he's been out there helpless. Like, that's the narrative. Um, 
but everybody's doing their part. And, you know, tonight, a night that he didn't have it going, we found offense elsewhere. And that's kind of what it's been. But <clears throat> in the same token, if he's got it going, we're going to be heavy Steph Curry. That's just what it is. So the whole notion of this guy doesn't, you know, he doesn't have help. Well, he got 43. He's going to keep shooting. And we're going to keep doing all that we can to get him shooting. So uh, it was huge. And, you know, now that's good for us. You know, he was 0 for 9 from 3. He's going to be livid going into game 6. And that's exactly what we need.